lens is ahead, flank three, eye. Right 20 degree runner, stay on him. All engines back full! Did you understand that? You must have heard of portside, starboard, rudder, and other naval words if you've ever seen a war movie. So let's understand what these words mean. First, we have stern and bow. The bow is the side facing towards the direction the vehicle is heading, whereas stern is towards the back end of the ship. Port and starboard. Port side is often misinterpreted as the side towards the port. No, but that's wrong. The port side is the side of the vessel, which is to the left of the observer facing the bow. And starboard is to the right of such an observer. Now we hear the word CO and XO, right? So CO is the commanding officer of the ship or simply the captain of the ship. XO is the executive officer of the ship, the one in command after the captain. Now you might have heard general quarters. So general quarters is full readiness to battle. All hands need to be ready at their respective battle stations. General quarters is called when the ship is in battle, when everybody needs to be in their respective battle stations and they need to be ready for the battle. Hell. Helm is the ship's steering mechanism. Helmsman is the person controlling the helm. Next, we have a rudder. A rudder is a primary control surface used to steer a ship. The part under the ship which is used to change the direction of it to the right or the left according to the helmsman. Flank. Well, you might have heard these words in video games, right? But flank is the highest possible speed the ship can reach. It's reserved for emergencies. It indicates that the ship should be brought up to the maximum speed in the shortest possible time. Bridge. The bridge of a ship is the room or platform where the ship can be commanded from. This is where the captain and the XO usually command the entire ship from. Hope you've understood a few important to know naval terms. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.